Did you know that if you invested just $100 in the S&P 500 in the 1970s, it would be worth over $20,000 today? Incredible, isn't it? This stock market index is a titan in the world of finance, a barometer of the US economy's health, and has shown a remarkable growth trajectory over the years. It's not just a list of 500 companies, it's a story of economic resilience and growth. Now isn't that a fact to get your financial gears turning? To fully grasp the magnitude of the S&P 500, we need to travel back in time to its inception. Picture this, it's 1957, a time of rock and roll, the space race, and the birth of something that would change the world of finance forever, the S&P 500. The S&P 500 was brought to life by a financial services company known as Standard & Poor's. The name might sound a bit dull but don't let that fool you. Their contribution to the financial world was anything but. They created the S&P 500 as an index, a kind of financial measuring stick if you will. But it didn't start out as the behemoth we know today. No, in the beginning it was a collection of just 90 companies. These 90 pioneers were the foundation, the starting point of this financial giant. And that was just the beginning of the S&P 500 we know today. So buckle up, because we're just getting started on this journey through financial history. From 90 to 500, the S&P 500 didn't become mighty overnight. Indeed, this monumental journey began in the mid-20th century, a time when the world was reshaping itself after the upheavals of war. In the year 1957, the S&P 500 underwent an expansion from 90 companies to 500. This change was not merely quantitative, but also qualitative. With an increased number of companies, the diversity of sectors represented in the index also grew exponentially. From manufacturing to IT, from healthcare to finance, the broad spectrum of sectors offered a more comprehensive view of the economic landscape. But how does a company make it to the S&P 500? Well, the criteria isn't as simple as being a large, successful company. There's a stringent checklist to be ticked off. The company must be based in the United States, have a market capitalization of at least $8.2 billion, and most importantly, it must have a public float of at least 50%. A company's inclusion in the S&P 500 is a testament to its standing in the marketplace, reflecting its financial health and stability. This shift from 90 to 500 companies was not just about numbers, but about creating a more accurate and holistic representation of the US economy. It was about acknowledging the diverse sectors that contribute to the economic fabric of the nation. The S&P 500 has indeed come a long way, hasn't it? A journey from 90 to 500, a journey that continues to define and influence global economic trends. Now, you may be wondering what's the big deal about the S&P 500? Well, let's unravel this mystery. The S&P 500 is no ordinary index. It's like the pulse of the US economy, reflecting the health and performance of the country's top 500 companies. It's a barometer, gauging the economic climate and influencing global markets. When the S&P 500 rises, it's a sign of robust economic activity and investor confidence. When it falls, it signals caution, potentially due to economic slowdown or market volatility. It's like a weather forecast for investors, alerting them to sunny days or stormy times ahead. Moreover, the S&P 500 serves as a benchmark for investors and fund managers. It's the yardstick they use to measure their performance, aiming to outperform this index. It's the goalpost, the touchstone, the gold standard. So the next time someone mentions the S&P 500, you'll know exactly why it's such a big deal. Scene script. Let's fast forward to today. What's the state of the S&P 500 in our current economy? The S&P 500 stands strong as a titan in the financial world. It's not just a reflection of the US economy, but a global barometer that gauges the financial health of the world's largest corporations. Its recent performance? Impressive. Despite the roller coaster ride of global events, it continues to demonstrate resilience and growth. This powerhouse index is more than a financial tool. It's a mirror reflecting the economic trends, from technological advancements to shifts in consumer behavior. It's the pulse of the market, the heartbeat of global commerce. The S&P 500's impact is profound. It shapes investment strategies, influences economic policies, and guides decisions of businesses and individuals alike. Its performance is watched, analyzed, and dissected by investors and economists, from Wall Street to Main Street. 
And there you have it. A quick journey through the history and significance of the S&P 500. Remember, understanding this powerhouse index is a step towards financial literacy.